The Saudi judiciary can impose the death penalty according to three categories of criminal offense in Sharia law. Hadud, fixed Quranic punishments for specific crimes. Hadud crimes which can result in the death penalty include apostasy, adultery, and sodomy. Kisses, eye for an eye retaliatory punishments. Kisses crimes include murder. Families of someone murdered can choose between demanding the death penalty or granting clemency in return for a payment of the or blood money by the perpetrator. A trend has developed of exorbitant blood money demands. A recent report mentions a sum of $11 million demanded in exchange for clemency. Tazir, a general category including crimes defined by national regulations, some of which can be punished by death, such as drug trafficking. Death sentences in Saudi Arabia are pronounced almost exclusively based on the system of judicial sentencing discretion tizir, rather than Sharia prescribed hadud punishments. Following the classical principle that hadud penalties should be avoided if possible, the rise in death sentences during recent decades resulted from a concerted reaction by the government and the courts to a rise in violent crime during the 1970s and paralleled similar developments. In the US and mainland China in the late 20th century, despite having signed the Convention on the Rights of the Child, Saudi Arabia executed offenders who were juveniles at the time of the crime up until the 26th of April 2020. When the death penalty against juveniles was abolished by a royal decree, Saudi Arabia has a criminal justice system based on a hardline and literal form of Sharia reflecting a particular state-sanctioned interpretation of Islam. Execution is usually carried out publicly by beheading with a sword, but may occasionally be performed by shooting. In April 2020, minors who commit crimes will no longer face execution, and would instead face a maximum of 10 years in juvenile detention facility. A public beheading will typically take place around 9 a.m. The convicted person is walked to a courtyard near the courthouse and kneels in front of the executioner. The executioner uses a sword known as a sultan to remove the condemned person's head from his or her body at the neck. A police official announces the crimes committed by the person and the beheading takes place. After a medical examiner inspects the body and is then pronounced dead, a police official announces the crimes committed by the beheaded convict once again and the process is complete. This is the most common method of execution in Saudi Arabia, because it is specifically called for by Sharia law and is one of the quickest methods of execution with little error percentile. Professional executioners have beheaded as many as 10 people in a single day in time of influxes of crime. Crucifixion of the beheaded body is sometimes ordered in cases that the person was a child molester and or rapist. Murder is punishable by death in Saudi Arabia. If a murderer pays the family of the victim blood money, and the family approves of the choice, the murderer will not be executed. The criminal justice system waits until the family makes a decision on whether the family of the victim will accept blood money or if the family of the victim will choose to have the murderer executed or to completely forgive the perpetrator. A conviction requires proof in one of three ways. An unworst confession the testimony of two male witnesses can result in conviction. This excludes Hadjud crimes, in which case a confession is also required. An affirmation or denial by oath can be required. 
giving an oath is taken particularly seriously in a religious society such as Saudi Arabia's, and a refusal to take an oath will be taken as an admission of guilt resulting in conviction. In order for an individual to be convicted in a Saudi Sharia law court of adultery, he she must confess to the act four times in front of the court. Otherwise four pious male Muslims or two pious men and two women who witness the actual sexual penetration must testify in front of the court. If the witnesses were spying on the defendants or intentionally watched the defendants commit adultery, their uprightness would be called into question and a conviction for adultery would not take place. According to the Islamic Sharia law, the burden of proof is on the accuser. If only one of those witnesses retracted his or her testimony then the accused will be acquitted and the remaining witnesses will be prosecuted for perjury Quran verse 24. The execution method for adultery committed by married men and women is stoning. If the conviction was established through confession, a retraction of the confession or the defendant leaving the pit while stoning is taking place results in the penalty being stayed. If the conviction was established through the testimony of four witnesses, the witnesses must initiate the stoning, and failure to do so results in the execution being stayed. During a human rights dialogue with European jurists that took place several years before 1987, a Saudi delegate acknowledged that it is difficult to have a person convicted of adultery. Another crime which someone can be executed in Saudi Arabia, is witchcraft. The use of public beheading as the methods of capital punishment and the number of executions have attracted strong international criticism. Several executions, particularly of foreign workers have sparked international outcries. Thank you for watching.